See, now we set. Now we're in here. In here cooking. Bacon, as the kids say. So what is going on, party people? Um, I think I wanted to kick this stream off to talk about networking in the industry and my experiences doing it. Um, and that's something, you know, as you navigate the writing world, the creative world in general, like networking is so important and you cannot discount the power of it. Um, I think, I think a misconception that a lot of people have is you make one big project, one big script, one big short film, whatever. You put a lot of time, effort, love into it, and that's going to be your pop off moment. And it's not. Wherever, Austin. Um, but really, it's, it's just the first big package in your portfolio. You know, it's what people are going to see when um, they look at you and try to figure out who you are as a creative. But it's very important, something I talk to people all the time about, is to, um, is to keep writing, to keep working, to keep creating. And you're going to um, do a lot better if you do that. Because I think, it's not I think, I know. When people meet you, they're going to ask you what else you have. That might sound cliche, but it happens, you know. I, I was super excited. I got to meet with a big exec once. And I was like, this is perfect. Like, one, serendipitous that we met. Two, I also have a script that I wrote. Um, and it's one of your shows that you work on. And the issue is they can't read scripts for the show that they work on. So it's always good to have backup material. Damn! See, now we're getting... Uh, it's not too much exposition. It's a little bit, but it's okay. It's like the right amount of exposition. That's all I'm saying. You know, you know if, if we're going to go down, I guess robots isn't a terrible way to go out. Um, I've been writing TV drama land for about two years now. Um, I used to work in tech before this and I was um, I was volunteering for this organization called Young Storytellers in Los Angeles and what you do is you teach fifth graders how to write um, a short script a five page script and it's you know it's a 10 week program and you kind of guide them to you know have a character and a plot and a couple key points of action um, and at the end of this 10 week program, we hired actors, uh, just local actors, to come and perform the script live in front of their whole class. And the look on these kids' faces, I was so jealous. Like, it was so amazing. They're, sh they're scared, they're excited, and I'm, I wanted that for myself. And so I, uh, I've actually, I actually lived in LA for 10 years. Um, and before in the, when I first moved there, I started reading scripts. So I think if you're ever interested in writing for TV or movies, the best way to educate yourself on it is to read scripts, look up your favorite movies, look up your favorite TV shows, download the pilot episode or download the script from it. And, um, and yeah, that's, there's no better way to learn how to write screenplays than to read screenplays. I was like, you know, I tried to write, um, you know, I, I thought I had some cool ideas and I just, I didn't have the time to do it. I didn't have like the energy to like, you know, work a 12 hour day and then to think about screenplays at night i just wanted to like play video games and you know watch tv and hang out with my friends and so i actually left my job and started writing on my own um 
And so a big part of LA is networking. And I think that's something that I really learned during my first, um, my first bout into the screenwriting work. Even if you are like a low tier agent or you're on somebody's desk and you know, you're eventually gonna get moved up. So the fact that I know you is very helpful because you know me, maybe you've read some of my stuff and we move up together and you're like, oh shit, I remember you. Um, it's not always a good idea to shoot for the top, to like aim for those like top execs and stuff because they're busy, they got their own stuff, they got all their own people. Um, yeah, when I started writing, I, thought I wanted to write TV comedies. Um, you know, I, I love shows like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Parks and Rec, The Good Place. And um, what, I, uh, what I learned is that, you know, I still like writing comedies, but I, I'm not a joke teller. I, uh, I can like write good setup and like lead the action there, but I'm not great at like the zingers, the bells and whistles kind of joke telling. Um, which maybe that's why I'd be great in a writer's room. You know, you could write on your own or hopefully like my goal is to get into a writer's room where you work with a team of eight to 10 different writers to create these scripts. Back to what I was saying earlier, it's just important to have good scripts, but you want to have multiple scripts because um, say you do get that meeting and you know people like you and they want to they're like yo blazing i read your script it's dope like come in let's meet let's talk i want to introduce you to my my peers and then they're gonna say what else do you have right so you can't just rely on that one script um so it's good to have like a collection that shows kind of your breadth of um right word question mark your wealth of experience or you know ability in this genre. like i was saying like i started out in tv comedies realized i'm not really a joke teller and so i but i like watching tv dramas also um so i switched to tv dramas and i think i do a little bit better there i like building that suspense that mystery um like right here it's kind of like let me let me cut over but like you know i i'm introducing this character and i wanted her to she, it was too too much in on the nose you know she was saying like oh i need your help but i wanted it to be like why does she need our help you know so she like collapses from exhaustion you know she traveled a thousand miles to meet this guy um to ask for his help because apparently there's no one else you know and that that kind of helps build a little bit of curiosity and a little bit of story damn we've been, been cruising been cruising oh oh yeah we cruising next to dusty accusing accusatorily accusatively accusatively nope Oh, accusatively, I just spelled it incorrect. That's how you know it was the right call. Um, yeah, no, I think we made good progress this morning. Nice Wednesday morning writing sesh. Um, had some great viewers today. Had some great conversation. Whole bunch of new followers. I absolutely appreciate it. We talked about the industry, kind of what brought me into the industry. And, you know a couple tips for anybody hoping to make a career in the film and television biz um yeah so i'll be i'll be here monday wednesday friday come check me out come hang out thank you so much everybody for following participating joining the team i hope to see you guys around